Well, Viaria stars produce neutrinos regularly. For example, Sun produces neutrinos regularly. Heavy stars, at the end of their uh, life, they have an extremely big explosion called supernova. And at that time, really tremendous number of neutrinos are produced. Neutrinos can easily penetrate through everything. Therefore, neutrinos produced at the center of the sun just come to the Earth without interaction. That means the neutrinos carry the information of the nuclear fusion processes in the sun. So by observing these neutrinos, we know what is happening at the center of the sun. Or similarly, if we observe neutrinos, created by the supernova, then we understand what is going on at the center of the uh, supernova explosion. Now we understand uh, black holes produces very high energy jet. And we think that black holes could be the uh, cosmic accelerator. They generate high energy cosmic rays and at the same time, they should produce neutrinos. Therefore, by observing high-energy neutrinos, we could know the origin of the uh, cosmic ray particles. Super Kamiokan or Hyper Kamiokan should detect these neutrinos. Neutrinos come to the detector, and sometimes they interact with the uh, water, then produces um, other particles. Um, say electrons, sometimes electrons or muons and so on. Then these particles propagating in the water, they emit photons called Cherenkov photons. And we detect these photons and we know the neutrino interaction. But at the same time, um, there may be acceleration of particles and if so, then gamma rays should come to the Earth, and these gamma rays should be observed by CTA. So that way, um, we can collaborate, and we know the details of the supernova explosion. <laughs>